Up next, we cast a spotlight on Nollywood upstart who is turning a lot of heads right now, Linda Osifo. The Desperate Housewives Africa star joins us now to talk about her life as a screen delight. Nigeria Movidom, popularly known as Nollywood, is buzzing for a new entrant, Linda Osifo, a Canadian-born Nigerian actor model. Linda caught the eyes when she starred in the much-talked-about Desperate Housewives Africa as Retta Moore, the African version of Eddie Britt. Okay. Mrs. Benson, I've told you now. This is Nigeria. What will people say? Look, I'm not wearing anybody's rag. Retta, beggars can't be choosers. Did you just call me a bad mother? Madam, please, enter your car. Do you know my life? Huh? What makes you think you could talk to me like that? Madam. I hardly sleep. I am always tired. Live a day in my life before you judge me, you foolish man. I have actually lived in Canada for over 16 years. I got back home in 2013 to pursue this passion which I desire. So here I am. Um, it's, not a, it's not something that I just started off. I have had things done in North America, from, from Canada basically to the States. But I thought coming back home would make a lot of difference. There's no place like home at the end of the day. And there's no place like coming back to be one of the developers in your home rather than being amongst those that have developed outside of the country. the normal lights out or beds out. I will not have my wife leave my bedroom just because I missed a simple dinner. I'm off to work. Whoever has to see the doctor tonight? Well, culture-wise, it's different. Um, Environment-wise, it's different. Work ethic-wise, it's very different. But I would say the similarity is it's all work. At the end of the day, you're working. So something has to be done and the similarity is you're acting. So the acting you do here is the same acting you do outside. Just of course the environment might be different. But it's to me, I, I take it all the same. Okay. You get in the car. Look, he doesn't want you anymore. So why don't you get out? And I mean right now and leave us alone. Prior to moving back home to Nigeria, Osifo acted and modeled briefly in North Africa. Although the industry in Canada is more structured with more professionals, she refuses to harbor any serious concern when she made up her mind to come ply in Nollywood. People ask me, like, why would you leave Canada and come back to Nigeria? Nigeria? I'm like, why not? Why not leave? It's well, I have, in life, when you have nothing to lose, you go with your passion. When you have a lot to lose, then you start doing logic. So I have nothing to lose. This is still my home at the end of the day. I'm a Nigerian and will always be. So there's no losing for it, right? what you take as a concern as an individual if you believe mm -hmm. electricity is a concern it's a concern if you believe um, the culture ev but for me normally I took everything like it came so I try not to make it a concern but of course it was a different world apart not having the experience I've had for years outside of the country but you try to learn, you try to look, you try to observe, and you adjust. Thank <laughs> you. 
și mie să spun. Kim, hai. Her last name, Osifo, very quickly ties her to Nollywood legend Alex Osifo. Even though, in the real sense, they are not related, she relishes the attention she receives whenever her name is called and tries to use it to her own advantage. <laughs> Um, well, first of all, I'm not related to Mr. Alex. I love Mr. Alex, so hello, Mr. Alex Osipo. <laughs> but we're not related. Um, I, I don't feel the pressure because I'm a woman, he's a man. So to be honest, I actually will write on it if people say, hey, do you know Alex Osipo? So, don't, I, don't we resemble? I'm probably his daughter. If they ask you his daughter, what do you think? If they say yes, you leave them to the yes answer. <laughs> so there's no pressure, it's actually a good thing. Kim, you walked out when I told you we had to contend with the Chico Collins. Are you scared of him? What? George, who is Hugo Chico Collins? Well, he's massive. That's not what I mean. You know what I'm talking about. I don't know. What's my name? Kimberly. My phone name. Kimberly Collins. You didn't even start to say my name. You knew I was married to Hugo. And you robbed me on this case. But Hugo Collins is your husband. Yes. Although she's relatively new in the Nigerian movie industry, Osifo arrives with an enviable resume which helps her bed into Nollywood seamlessly. And it's little wonder she's quickly becoming a Nollywood sweetheart. Have you had lunch? I've actually been busy with some cases, mostly pro bono. You want to have a go at them? I don't know. <laughs> There's a woman who literally got fired. You want to know why? She refused to sleep with her boss. 